All right, we are back with Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, and we have done some experimentation. I I do tell you what. If I could warp, I could tell you about it. So, seeing as uh, we've got a third minion character, I loaded up the extra one onto Rabbit Rosalina because she just doesn't need help with anything. Like, she does so much damage. Even if she didn't do any damage, she would still be incredibly useful. And so what I've done with her is given her the Rabbit and the Wild Claw to give her some melee options and some utility. I gave Bowser the Oozer, as that'll give Bowser both the 30% weapon damage that he so wow. enjoys to do, like, you know, any worthwhile damage. In addition to having some utility as more of this overseer as they describe him. That's not how I would use him. You know, I would do something different with Bowser, but they, they call him the Overseer. And so, I have uh, set him up to be that way. He's got the, <clears throat> the, the Mecha Koopas and the other thing. Wow. With Rabid Mario, I focused entirely on damage, and then with regular Mario, I gave him a little bit of health uh, due to that last loss that we had where he just, uh, you know, got out damaged. Come on, Gerspard. You can do this. They need you. Pardon me, are you? The artist Gerspard. Perhaps you saw my paintings at the Winter Palace when I was in my cozy alpine futurism phase. Or maybe you were blown away by my work at Palette Prime when I was in my neo-lowbrow stripism phase. Here in Baron Del Mesa, I was doing my most important work yet, thanks to my artist colony friends pushing me to grow. But now they've gone missing inside the danger zone. No wonder there was the rent in here was so cheap. Uh, uh, I was going to ask, are you okay? Nonetheless, Mr. Gerspard, you can count on us to rescue your friends. I'll open the gate to the danger zone for you. I have no idea how they got inside. There must be some footprints or something here somewhere. But if they are but if there are, they're invisible to me. My muse, come back to me. Okay. I don't know what he means by the danger zone. Oh. Okay, so the footprints go everywhere. Oh. How do I get up there? Unless they crawl back at some point. No, they don't. Hmm. Okay, here we go. I mean, it's not here, but let's just go ahead and jump in, I suppose. Alright, this is where it looks like I will appreciate a whole lot of range. So I want Luigi. I'm gonna go ahead and experiment with Bowser, and then, uh, you know, maybe I'll just stick with Rabid Mario to um, get some good, good bit of damage in there to those close-up enemies. Okay, so I can't get very far at all. With my man Bowser. What? Well, not a bad way to spend a turn. Um, 
Yeah, let's see what that does and kind of go from there. That means that really, I've got no one left to fight with him. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice that Luigi can just extend his movement range and still let Rabbit Mario jump. Man, still didn't get the job done though. That's crazy. I'm gonna get, get, I'm gonna get this countdown started on this guy. And I think that's good for the turn. Okay. So there's two of those guys coming. Man, I I really don't need to uh, do too much here then. Can Bowser hit them from here? I can, wow. That will hit that threat bubble. And, uh, I mean, let's see. Let's see how much damage he does. Oh, I just hit the barrel and didn't actually hit him. <laughs> That's funny. Luigi hit them from so far in the other direction that it actually causes them to run the other way. No. Okay. Okay. I think that's about it. Man, I wish my loser would come and, you know, do something. Okay, so I can do something kind of funny here. Just make sure Bowser's out of the way. Give it up! 
Now that means I can attack this guy freely. Let's see if I get this guy into the mix. I don't think I can beat them yet, so yeah, we're gonna have to run away a little bit. It's going pretty well though, I mean, you know, nothing nothing really to do, but just, I, I guess if you're not outputting enough damage, this becomes like a slow marching doom. Okay. We're definitely seeing a lot of enemies like kind of in that range. getting close enough where I could probably afford to take a risk. I mean, let, let's just find out. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I mean, kinda, you know, I was, was, was kinda okay. Wish I could summon one and just would be closer to here. Okay, so this guy has... He still has quite a lot of health left. So Luigi needs to... Oh, Luigi can't do anything. Which means Rabbit Mario can't do anything. Which means I'm probably done. <laughs> after this turn. Well, the, the grand experiment comes to a close. I 
and it really wasn't worth it. To be honest. I don't think I don't think that skill is great. But I don't I guess I guess we'll see. Take it easy. Oh. Yeah, I got 1000 damage. Back on him. I mean, I guess I survived. I survived two hits, and one of which was the maximum damage he could do. So, I suppose at the end of the day, it wasn't was not too shabby. Okay. Okay, now I think I can take both of these guys out. Definitely want to be a little bit safer with Rabid Mario, although I can't. Very funny. Nothing else to do. Wish I could tell my guy to move or do something. The AI is uh, very interesting in this game. No, I never did test the whole thing with, um... The, there was, um... The fact that Rabbit, or that... I use the, the shield that deflects damage... It really doesn't care if you take the damage or not. So I do need to test that with Princess Peach. Who knows, maybe I'll, like, change my, um... I might have just sealed my doom. I should have used this before the dash. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh my gosh. Oh, I do this to myself. I do this to myself. I might be good, actually. Let's see, Bowser will get a little more mileage out of hitting all of them at once, so... Let's do that. And I'm still trapped. I just don't have a good shot at them from over there. Okay, can I sneak through now? Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got some some action here. Okay. All right, now Rabbit Mario cannot afford to get oozed. I need three more enemies defeated. And it's got to be these three. All right, 
that Bowser can get out. These bad boys. I don't remember using my healing thing with Bowser. When did I do that and for what reason? can happen because it's got to be this turn that I win on. Okay. <laughs> this should be it. Not too shabby. I wonder if this is gonna have me walk through like the entire level. Steps just end there. Here we go. I think I came through here before. Can I hit this thing from here? Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, now what? There is this place, but I don't know where the special sphere is. Oh, it's right here.
There's Dada. It's another whistle one? Oh, awesome. This is going to be great. Fantastic. Destroy the dark missiles. Okay, this one looks pretty involved. And usually Rabid Luigi's great for this stuff. Rabid Mario is also going to be great from the standpoint of hitting lots of stuff. And then Bowser with the rockets. I mean, yeah, that's, I like this team. Peach would also be good, but... I'm just going to roll with what I have. But depending on who's here, there's not a whole lot of enemies. <laughs> you know what? I did not mean to do that with... Rabid Luigi. I kind of forgot to give him a spark. I knew something was weird with him. The vamp dash is good. Um, but if there's something else that kind of boosts his attack, that would be swell. Does not look like it, so... We're just going to go with, um, I don't know, the ooze attack? Uh, the ooze weapon thing? goes okay so I need to get to that pipe bells are up here yeah I'm doing pretty good as rabid luigi goes yeah he's the only one i really need to kind of get into position Trying to figure out a way to make his thing work. It's not really working, and his uh, chaining things together is kind of working against him here, where I just kind of want to hit the one thing. 
Okay, let's see if Rapid Mario can get him over the line. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is, uh, not really getting me over the line. I suppose he's going to be forced to move. I didn't see that guy. Oh, I might just lose this turn. Oh, that's not good. We've got a problem here. I wonder if this disables their ability to um, damage the the target as well. Would be quite nifty if so. Just barely making it with Bowser. See how it goes. That's not good.
No! Okay. Thank goodness that didn't happen. Probably could have done the ooze move on him. Okay, so Rabid Mario desperately needs to help Rabid Luigi. Go ahead, your turn. I might have kind of lost. Checkmate him out. All right, so I need a different strategy. Bowser's good for getting clumps, but over here, like that might be the part for Rabbit Luigi. So if I put him in the lead. Maybe he would be good for that. And then over in this area. That's just. That also might work for him. I don't really know how his thing works. Bowser might have been better suited for that.
Okay, so that that did not work like I thought it would. Um, just for the sake of argumentation, would it work up here? <laughs> No. Alright, so he's not good for this. Because pretty much anyone can hit that many in a row. So we're going to place him with Edge. And... Uh, Rabid Rosaline is going to be great, because she can just disable large groups of people. And yeah, we could we could have Bowser too. Okay, so I could just use a Nui there. No problem. Can Bowser give No, Edge can't get really really get a boost. Um which should be fine because Yeah. Honestly. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be fine. Now, can I get close enough to do what I want to do here? I cannot. Okay, so... It's like, I don't know what to do with her. Because now the problem is that I don't really have a whole lot of options for how quickly I can deal with these things. Bowser's really the best for dealing with that stuff. Alright, please attack this guy. Oh wow, it got one of the, the eyeball things. Fantastic. Okay. Got just out of my range, as one might expect.
Yeah, still got him. Oh my gosh. These guys are the worst. Two. It's such a bummer that, like, I'm that close, but so far away. Okay. How can I finally get this last one? I I really don't know. Can I... I can't prevent Kamek from coming either. Um... I can beat this guy. Throw out some decoys. Is this a shot I can make with Bowser? It is not. Okay. Back to square one. Possible that I can make this jump? Make this work? Yeah! We're doing much better this time. We just all have to converge on the last area. Which Edge should be able to get over to. Um, I don't know about the rest of the, the folks. I can do this, however. Which is a nice benefit. Okay, how are we going to get over here? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, Mario. Oh, even so, I can't get over there. Man. <laughs> Trying to press A at like the last practical moment. Okay.
Okay. Need to find a way to hit both eyeballs. I can see him. Fantastic. Nice. My man over there, <laughs> claw guy is just doing nothing. Okay. We're in a great position though. Cause I think we have, yeah, we just have two more to destroy. Ugh, yawn. Let me just make sure Edge can get where she needs to go. Oh yeah. Well, that was pretty difficult. Pretty difficult to be in three places at once because none of the characters are very super strong individually. <laughs> You're safe, my best friends and bravest critics. Go on, Dada, say something. Be blunt but true, Dada. It's all my fault. I couldn't resist the chance to explore the danger zone. But then Dada got trapped inside that puddle. I tried to save him, but I got stuck too. You couldn't have known you'd find something like that here. I mean, it is called the danger zone, but still. With no way to recharge his power core, I suppose Dada and his brutal honesty are gone forever. I don't know how to repay you, friend, except to kick you out of our artistry colony forever. You see, no colony could nurture and inspire you as an artist, like wandering the galaxy with heroes can. If I hadn't traveled, I'd never discovered excessive minimalism, subjective objectivism, or even nacho pizza. Or even nacho pizza. I'll be a student of life. My top priority is to see all of your works around the galaxy. Overpriced art supplies, overcrowded museums, snooty gallery openings, you name it! Okay. We got just just barred. And we can do whatever this is. Now, I'm curious what kind of creature we've got on our team now. I love that I'm getting all these summoning ones. So this is a scoper ally. Each shot is... So that I think that's... um, What's it called? Uh, the wolf guys. So we get a 30% chance uh, 
of critical hits. It's the same as this this vamp shot with Luigi, but if the guy stays around, he can be, kind of be like Luigi's buddy. On the other end, if we use that with Bowser, we'd change raw damage for power. I think that's more useful. Okay, now I have... I am legally obligated to do a team like this. So I can use all my dudes. I think I already did this. This is just like to get over here. So we are closing in on the end of this area. Looks like there's just a, a few battles at the Baron Gateway. What is that? In any case, we'll get into all that as we continue the adventure in Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope.